Hi, everyone, and, and welcome. I'm pleased to have uh, Robert Bodenstein here, who is going to be talking to us about NCI. So why don't I just hand it over to you to tell us a little bit about this project and, and what's happened in the past year. Thank you, Dwight. Thank you for the invitation. Um, well, the task force set up the, the NCI as the outcome of uh, one of the most important statements in our mission, as the ICMCI says, to uh, improve the, the standing and the awareness of management consulting as a profession, as an important uh, profession in a developed economy. And uh, we set up the NCI as a tool to address stakeholders and uh, to address stakeholders in terms of improve the general conditions in countries, in regions, to deliver management consulting services with regards to laws, with regards to tax, with regards to funding uh, um, uh, environment. And uh, it is an excellent tool to approach these stakeholders at least once a year. In our vision, it would be once a year altogether at the same time uh, in the setting of the National Consultants Day. Um, and that would make us really strong if, and, and, and we could be very loud as a profession if, if if all IMCs would, would do that once. It's a long way, but if we never start walking, we will never reach the goal. Wonderful. I, I should have asked you to elaborate on what NCI stands for because uh, not some of the new yes. delegates may not have heard that those initials maybe, before. <laughs> maybe they have heard about Consulting Readiness Index. That mm -hmm. was the, the former name, but we switched the name to National Consulting Index. Uh, we think that's a little bit more uh, precise with regards of understanding uh, to our uh, target groups. And uh, the National Consulting Index indicates how good is the environment for the national consulting industry. Uh, with regards how we, we, we picked um, different indicators um, like creativity index uh, or create, uh, index of economic freedom. And we put this index together to an own index, which is the, the NCI. It is set up by the academic fellows chaired by Simon Haslam. It's a robust scientific approach. It's not, it not came out of our heads. It's, it's, it's a real robust scientific approach with robust data base. So uh, I think it, it really can be used for, for discussions in detail. And uh, we do not be, we don't need to be shy to use it in the public. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a great launch event this year. Maybe you could talk uh, to us a little bit about that and some of the other achievements of the index this year. Well, the main message is um, the better the economy, the better the environment for management consulting. And that is the, the, the main outcome of the index itself. But uh, the ranking of the different countries uh, also indicate that many countries, I think I would say almost all countries, they really need to improve uh, on different levels in different, uh, in, in, in different fields uh, of, of politics and, and, and different fields of in the environment. And uh, what we can show is, this is the specific field where your country should be improved as uh, IMC. Um, you should address the politics and say, see, this is worldwide ranking. And this ranking indicates that we are not good in the management consulting environment with regards to a special cluster of problems or whatever. And this has to be done on, on IMC level. It's not possible that IMC, ICMCI can do it because it's very individual. IMCs are very diverse, the political setting are different, the e eco economy is different, and so it is, has to be tailored to the specific needs of every IMC. And, but the, I, the NCI is, is a very good base for that. And we are happy to support the IMCs. That's our next goal we would like to achieve, that all IMCs are being part of this community to promote it. But we do know that there's a lot of work to do how does it fit to the specific regional aspects and, and uh, the, the specific situation in the country? And this is how we all together in the task force uh, and in the ICMC, I would like to support the IMCs to have the, to set up their specific lobbying strategy. Okay, excellent. Uh, this has been quite a special year in terms of uh, having a global pandemic. Uh, any any yeah. challenges specifically for your committee uh, this year? 
uh, no, I don't think the, 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 we, don't, we don't have more challenges than other committees, than other yeah. professions. <laughs> um, um, I would say that we as management consulting industry, we already used too many uh, techniques, but um, the main challenge is how can we get in touch with our, with our stakeholders? Mm -hmm. And in, in, in the pre-pandemic world, we would have met them in some events. Now the events have had been closed down very strong. Mm -hmm. And so it's, uh, it's, it's something we need to be aware of when we promote the, the consulting. What is the appropriate tool? Is it just a press release or is it a virtual event or is it a background discussion? And this is what we need to elaborate on with the IMCs. Thank you, Robert. That's that's great. Your your complete report is in the published annual report, so delegates have access to that. They can read more there. Uh, in closing, though, any any advice for our delegates if they would like their institute to be more closely involved about what they could do? Um, I know for many IMCs uh, that is a new field of activity, and I'm convinced that this is what. The mem our members and the members of our members expect. Mm -hmm. Get in touch with uh, the people who are decision makers to improve the profession of management consulting. And I know this is quite new for some, uh, for, maybe for all of us. And we need to move forward and let's use this new situation to get one step after the other step uh, in this direction. Wonderful. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your time today. And, and I do recommend uh, reading the full report. And, and thank you to you and your committee for this excellent work. Thank you, Dwight. And uh, thank you, Rima, for your support. Thank you. Thank you.